Technology is everywhere in education. Students have access to information and ideas and tools at their fingertips. We want to make the most of classroom technology and help our students realize their true potential with it. But we don't want to be overwhelmed. And we only have so much time in the day to make it happen. Now, classroom tech transformation can happen step by step. It helps when you have a roadmap, a model to follow to level up little by little. Instead of using classroom technology because you're supposed to, you can start to leverage it. Make it work for you and your students to create that personal, forward-thinking instruction that you hope for. Maybe you need some concrete first steps. Or maybe you could just use some tools or some practical examples from the classroom. Or you might just need a little guidance. That's why we're thrilled to share this new book with you, Breaking the Blockbuster Model, Using ad EdTech and Accessibility to See What's Next in Classrooms. And there's what it looks like right there. And it's by Nate Ridgway. And here is Nate right next to me, the author of this book that you've gotten to know so well through this video series. Now, Nate, tell us why this message was such an important one for you to share. Mm. I think a lot of it reflects the water that we've all been swimming in here for the last couple of years. And the pandemic really opened uh, a lot of the ideas that I had been brewing about, about my teaching and learning that was going on in my classroom and thinking about how we could think about where we should kind of go, um, you know, in terms of, you know, our classrooms in the future. And for me, um, breaking the blockbuster model means not just thinking about what the future is going to hold, but thinking about designing as teachers what we want that future to be. Mm -hmm. um, and in our quest to, you know, to return to normal, um, having gone through the pandemic, I think it's worth taking some pretty serious time to question if that normal is worth returning to yes. and what we want that normal to be. Um, so for me, as you know, as a classroom educator and as an author uh, and a you know and a writer, I really wanted us, um, for me in particular, and us as educators, to think about it, it's time to take bold steps in our classrooms and ones that are going to make positive changes in, in the lives of our students. And and I think you know this quote um, quite a bit. Uh, th this next one, like the riskiest thing that we can do as teachers is not take any risks at all, yeah. and just kind of keep on the status quo. And so that that is the heart and the core uh, and the essence of this book is reflecting on where we've been and where we could go. Yeah. And I like that you mentioned bold steps because we've got lots of uh, examples of what that might look like and what those steps could be. Uh -huh. Now, um, Nate is a, a high school history teacher in central Indiana and his U.S. history classes, you know, the, the teaching he does and the learning his students do um, have been transformed by technology. His students don't just sit and get during instruction. They're engaged in hands-on learning. His activities aren't mass produced or cookie cutter. They're, they're creating digital representations of their learning that keeps them engaged. And Nate has used technology to streamline his class. So he spends less time shuffling papers and more time on what matters most. Now, Nate, I love this book and I love the three models that you use to help us envision the changes we can make in our teaching with technology. And we've spent this whole video series learning about those three models that you use to cast that vision, a, a vision that I, I absolutely adore. Um, can you just walk us through those models again real quickly, real briefly? Yeah, we'll do, we'll do a quick flashback, um, you know, in, in movie theater lingo, right? Um, so the, uh, the original you know, step on our kind of metaphorical journey was the movie theater model. And the movie theater model um, is a very kind of old archaic model of thinking about how uh, teaching and learning happens in our classroom. Um, and really it's the, the heart of it is thinking about uh, direct, it, it centers essentially direct instruction. Yeah. Um, and not only that, but the skills and the content that the teacher brings to the room are the ones that are valued. And also in terms of accessibility to that learning and teaching, it's pretty limited. Um, and so the movie theater model, while it's got some pretty considerable issues and it's in need uh, of some, some serious updates, it shouldn't be tossed out 
altogether. Um, there are some things that are very valuable that, uh, you know, like I, I just took my little one to his first movie here when he turned five um, and it kind of blew his mind. And so there, there are opportunities where we can use the movie theater model in very intentional ways that that can um, still have a very positive impact on, on kids learning, but it needs to be used purposefully. Yeah. So that's the movie theater model. Then we go on to the blockbuster, blockbuster model. model. Yeah. So if, if the movie theater model was all about direct instruction, the blockbuster model is all about the things that we always thought they were going, they were going to be. Uh, we always did. I, I, I giggle because uh, uh, blockbuster, we always thought there was going to be blockbuster and then it wasn't anymore. Um, and blockbuster, uh, the, blo the blockbuster model for me is a lot of these traditional classroom practices that we assume there that, you know, and students assume and parents assume and, you know, and administrators assume are always going to be there. Um, and in many cases, this, some of these practices were, uh, you know, blockbuster itself was a step up from movie theaters, right? Like, you know, people being able to go and you know, choose from a selection of movies that, you know, they, they couldn't do that from, you know, from before, you know, rent a video game console. Um, but there are some things here that, again, just like the movie theater model, uh, the, the blockbuster stores and needed some updates. Um, it, it, it needs a bit of work done. Um, and this is looking at stuff like late work policies and homework and, um, you know, thinking about like how we value relationships and flexibility and grace and, and those kind of uh, practices in our rooms. Yeah. Yeah. So we yep. go from the movie theater model to the blockbuster model to kind of the pinnacle and the culminating point, which is the streaming model or the Netflix model, yes. right? Yeah, and the streaming model is the the uh, the, the heart of this book. Um, now, it's not a exactly answer to where everything is going, but I think it's the next step of where we as kind of educators and teachers can go. Um, and so if, if we borrow that Netflix, you know, logo from a while ago, see what's next, the streaming model is it. Um, and at the heart of it is cloning, you know, like making a digital copy of myself whenever I possibly can, you know, where, where time permits, uh, that students can access and their families can access any time. Um, you know, we're starting to think about, you know, how our content not only plays and impacts our students in the classroom, but how it has a larger impact perhaps you know, across classrooms or to a local community. And then also thinking about um, and really reflecting deeply on our instruction and, you know, how we're tailoring that and presenting it to students. And so it takes a much more, um, it, it's, a, it's a kind of a model that's much more focused on equity and access and reflection and relevancy. Uh, and, and kind of, again, moving, moving on and breaking through those, those, that blockbuster model, as we yeah. say. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's kind of like the, the big picture framework of the book. But if you actually open up a copy of it, here's what I love about it, that there are just kind of practical tips and tools and strategies and ideas you can use in class right away. It is visually rich. Like it's one of those books you can pick up and you just see little things as you flip through it. And I love that it's interactive too. It's got tons of little short links that you can type into your computer, QR codes you can scan with your phone so that you can access all of these great resources that Nate has created for you in the book and even outside of the book with all sorts of, you know, like slides and documents and different things that you can make a copy of. Now, are you ready to check this book out? Breaking the Blockbuster Model? It is available right now on Amazon and Barnes and Noble. You can get a paperback copy of it. Or if you want to just start reading it right now, you can go buy the Kindle ebook version. Just use the link in the button below, or you can go to ditch.link slash blockbuster, that same link we've been talking about the whole time, ditch.link slash blockbuster to get your copy. But wait, if you purchase the book before Thursday, June 2nd, 2022, again, Thursday, June 2nd, 2022, you'll get access to a huge package of free bonuses, including bonus number one, a set of five free ebooks, including Podcasting Beyond the Classroom, A Guide to Asynchronous and Remote Teaching, and more. All of these free ebooks from Nate. That's bonus number one. Plus, bonus number two, you'll be invited to a free live stream with Nate where you can ask him anything. And you'll get bonus number three, early access to Nate's How to Create Effective and Engaging Content blog. 
So that's just three of them, but there's even more. There's there's even more bonuses uh, than that. And all you've got to do is just use that link below this video to submit a proof of purchase. You'll find the, bu the button down below uh, to claim those bonuses. But you have to do it before Thursday, June 2nd, 2022. So think about it. Technology can help you level up your teaching, engage your students, provide the kind of learning that they dream of and that you dream of. You can put your classroom technology to work for you instead of making it another chore. You'll be preparing your students for their future in education, in the workforce, and beyond. Breaking the Blockbuster model. We hope that you will check it out. Thanks so much for being a part of this video series. Hope you'll enjoy the book. Take care.